Okay, so to measure your controlled pulse, it's a relaxed breath hold. Just relax for a few minutes before you actually do this. Um, settle in, don't alter your breathing, but just relax. Make sure you haven't just exercised. It's best to take this in the morning after you've been awake for just a few minutes. But either way, you're just going to take a normal breath in and a normal breath out through your nose, mouth is closed. So it'll be a normal breath in, normal breath out, and then you'll pinch your nose, hold your breath, and you'll time in seconds how long till you have that first real urge to breathe. It'll either be just a desire or you'll actually feel a fluttering of your diaphragm or you'll feel yourself start to swallow. That's the first real urge. This is not a maximal breath hold. It's also not about tricking yourself into, oh yes, I can hold this for a really long time. So we want an honest reading, normal breath in, normal breath out, pinch your nose, hold your breath, time on your iPhone or on a timer until you get that first urge to take a breath or the fluttering of the diaphragm or a swallow. Hit the stop button. That is your controlled pause time. Just be honest. And then you can start tracking the changes as you do the practices in this course. What you will notice is if you are below 20 or 25 seconds on this controlled pause, you'll probably notice fairly rapid improvements over the first few weeks of doing those practices. And then once you get above 25 seconds, it'll slow down the progress. But honest reading, don't trick yourself, don't hyperventilate before you do it. Just breathe normally. Make sure you haven't just exercised. Don't eat either. That's another key thing. If you have a full stomach, it'll alter it as well. First thing in the morning is best after you've been awake for a few minutes. Okay, that's your controlled pause time.